Hey, what's going on everybody out there? I'm Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a brand new episode of JJ's First 20. We're taking a look at Hades. Whoops, as I'm already in the middle of the action, as you guys could tell. Uh, we're taking a look at Hades on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I'm actually a little late to the party with this one, uh, but everything worked out pretty good. So Hades is an indie game, as you guys uh, probably already know of many of you who've been following this game for a while. But it's like an action roguelike or action uh, dungeon crawling roguelike. And this is pretty cool because a couple things are happening right now, at least for this video. One, we're playing Hades on Switch, which is great. And as you guys can tell, I have a brand new webcam. Uh, it looks freaking great compared to what we're usually used to. Uh, I do have to fiddle around with the settings and actually the positioning of the camera for future videos. But I figured, you know what, let's, let's just kind of roll with this. Like, let's just kind of, you know, roll with it and get some gameplay in here. First, or one of the last few videos of 2020 uh, that I'm doing here. And I'm glad I finally got to play this game because so many people have said so many great things about Hades. And, uh, you know, for the longest time I've been wanting to get down into playing it. And uh, I finally get to do so now at this point. So, kind of just starting off here. I've already played a little bit of it off camera just to kind of get to the meat and potatoes of everything. You know, so I could actually get into the, the gameplay and the combat as you guys are looking at now. And uh, thus far, as you guys can tell, I like it. I think this is pretty good. A lot of people have said this is probably one of the best games of 2020. And I'm definitely seeing why some people are saying that. Because it just feels good to play, man. Like, that's the one thing you can't replicate for any game. Like, you could have all the graphics and stuff that you want. But if it's not good to play, if it doesn't feel solid and tight to play, man. Like, there, there's no, nothing else is going to replace that. Like, there's, there's no point in anything else. Alrighty, here we go. We're moving on to the next section. We got a new area we're going to. So I'm not going to get too much into the story stuff because I feel like you should uh, definitely check out this game when you can and you'll get all the story bits from it. It needs to be experienced, but I will say that the voice acting and uh, the visuals are pretty freaking good. Uh, it definitely has a strong root in uh, Greco-Roman mythology with a lot of different uh, mythological characters from uh, various different stories like, you know, Hades, obviously, Zeus, Athena... All the different Greco-Roman gods you would expect are here and represented in some way. Uh, and it's very interesting, some of their things that, or their personalities. Let's kind of move around here. Let's, let's just roll up on them. Let's just smack them up a few times. There we go. Complete the stage. Gain some coins. Nice. Get some money. Let's move around. Uh, where's this uh, door? Where's our next area that we have to go to? Is it up this way? Oh, no. There we go. Next area. Going upstairs. See what we got. Now, one thing I will say is that there isn't a lot of spots where you break up, like, those little little items that you see on the ground. Like, like there's certain things like that that are, like, will explode when you're fighting enemies that'll damage them and allow you to take on groups of enemies or much stronger ones that are lurking around. And that is pretty good, but, like, all the, like, pots and stuff, like, they don't drop, like, money or anything, from what I could tell. So they get massive damage, so... Oops. Big attack! Look at that, a bolt of lightning. So we gained some crystal. That crystal and the money is used to buy all sorts of, like, weapons or perks as you go along. Now, I haven't really gone too deep with it to see, like, what you could really get, but I've only seen enough weapons and stuff to know that, like, you know, things get pretty crazy. Ooh, I did not mean to go that way. Massive damage. Whoops. Explode. Yes. Got him. Definitely need health. Did he do any sort of damage to him? No, didn't really do any damage to him. Definitely need to heal. Because I don't have any way to heal. Whoops. Ooh. Now, that's one thing I will say. Like, some of these enemies, as soon as they have, like, a second health bar... You could actually, uh, what is it? They could power right through your attacks, which is annoying. But once you get down to that red health bar, you can start smacking them up. Start doing all sorts of stuff. Now, let's get this. So, Archer. So, I'm guessing he's talking about Artemis. And I dig the voice acting. I think the voice acting is pretty good. A lot of people have complimented this game on it. It's pretty good. There you go. See, got Artemis. Got us to the hunt. So now I'm guessing, okay, we got True Shot, which 
your cast, which is basically your magic spell, does some of this stuff. Uh, your dash strike deals more damage, so dash strike damage goes off 50%. Any damage you deal has a chance to be a critical. But you know what? Let's do the dash, because I feel the dash will help out, because that's this right here. That'll do some stuff. He didn't really get any health. Definitely need health if there's any spot to find health. Again, like, some of these things, like, smashing them doesn't really do anything. Let's move on to the next area. Like I said, man, the controls in this feels very solid. I like it. It reminds me of Bastion. A little bit of how that game felt very good. It's from Super Giant. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we gotta... Yeah, you're finally doing some damage there now there is a perk i know you could get that could actually reflect bullets back at enemies but i had that in my first like run and i wanted to get it again but it never popped up for me so that's a little bit annoying whoops it's not good we got like four health once you die you go back to like the main area where you first start out with okay there they are over there got him Smacked him up. Okay, there we go. So we got more essence. Now what? Okay, so we got two areas. We got what looks like a pomegranate, which I'm guessing is going to be health, and then we got money. So you know what? No, let's go to the health section. Let's do that. It's a little bit smarter, if you know what I'm saying. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, okay, so it's just a bunch of skulls. It's just a group of skulls that we got to destroy. Ooh, okay, I did not expect that. So when there you go, there is no escape, you die, and you get like sucked back into the blood, back down to the bottom floor, or wherever Hades, you know, deep down to its depths. I like that, it, it's clever, because it goes with the mythology, it goes with everything else that's, you know, the game shows you. Oh, my blasted spike. Yeah, that's right. Everywhere. So yeah, he just like casually walks over, he's like, okay, here we go again. The House of Hades. I get to show you guys this, so hold up. There goes Hypnos. Have you tried not standing with the spikes? Are they no shit, Sherlock? Like, come on now, son. I'm just saying. Someone's at the desk next to the throne. Okay, hold on. There's a new person over there. Who's that sniveling shade to your immediate left there, father? Already found someone new to do the busy work. And here I thought I was utterly in Damn, what an attitude. Look at Hades with the giant mustache and beard. One whose responsibility is to work on this house. Though who shall pay for everything my subjects here demand, I do not know. Hmm. You're trying to guilt me into funding the exorbitant furniture. In other words, you've got to pay for it, son. <laughs> That's great. That's great. You have sown throughout my realm. Then we might finally have time for all the needed renovations that have piled up. Oh my god, it's so silly. So check out check out the Cerberus over here. You can talk to Cerberus. How you holding up, boy? Eating well lately? All three mouths full and happy. That's right, Cerberus is like, yeah. That, that voiceover, man. So you could also pet Cerberus. Who's the best Check it out. You can pet Cerberus. So that seems like a thing in a lot of games within 2020. Like, everybody wants to pet the dogs or the, the pets, the animals that you come across in all these games. I mean, it's there. I wish you got something for doing it. That would make more sense to me in all these games, including Hades. But I can't be mad at that. So hold on. Who's this homeboy? Renovate. Oh, so we can renovate. So, so, so added chamber. Restore some health amid the gloom. Yes. Okay. Fountain chamber in the depths of Tartarus sounds like an excellent idea. So we get some of that stuff. So we get more of these things. We'll be able to renovate more of the area. So we don't have a lot of. We hardly don't have any of this. Uh, you know, I'm guessing money or sort of like you know, whatever that thing is. It looks like looks like stuff you could. Uh, what is it? Mine. I'm not sure. There's the court music, there's the bedchambers, there's the lounge, the West Hall. Uh, enhances the viewing area to the, uh, near the West Hall. The Great Hall. We got all the, like, these different colors. So work orders, no. These are the, like the ones I'm guessing we really need. So chambers may contain an infernal trove. Uh, make the fates prophecies come to pass and be rewarded. Okay, that, that sounds like 
you know, missions or stuff. Object unlock something you could not do without it. Enhancement to... I like how it's got a little stuff there on the side. Enhancement to some part where artifact ever shifting underworld. Treasure chests worth more uh, the faster you slay the foes are guarding them. Uh, urns of the wealth. Okay. So a lot of different stuff. So since we just got this one, it says grand opening deal. Uh, always we stores life and otherwise inaccessible locations to be found in the ever shifting world. Okay, so yeah, so we got that now. Here's another person here. Nyx. Guide you, child. You have outgrown this house. Of that I am now hmm. Should you I won't forget you, Nyx, I swear it. <laughs> I love the little stupid uh little spirit there. What once was a small lounging area within the house huh. of Hades now is sealed off in utter shambles since the multi headed Cerberus tore the space hmm. apart. Warning the missing. So yeah, your dog got upset that he left. Cerberus destroyed the lounge again. <laughs> so yeah, just taking a look through here, showing you guys some of this other stuff. This is really cool. Here goes Achilles. If you guys know who Achilles is from the was it the Iliad? Hmm. That's right. Tell him. Just wreck him up, wreck shot, just because. So we're gonna skip that again, just to kind of like observe around. So some of these areas will open up eventually. In different places. There's like different like, you know, objects. I'm guessing the more that you find and some I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more around here. This is probably gonna open up eventually. You can relax there if you want to, but as comfy as it looks. I'm pretty sure later that'll become a thing. So let's go back out there. Nothing this way. Yeah, let's go back out there. Go back to our, our room. And then from our room, get to power ourselves up. So we got a few things. We got 20 essence. So let's see, what can we spend it on? You can only spend it on chronic fatality. So a small amount of health when you exit a chamber, plus one. Yeah, let's do that. Like, let's give that to us. Because that'll be good to get a little bit of health. Uh, and then the other stuff, uh, Greater Reflex. Let's see, Unlock Talents. Reveal two hidden talents uh, out there. So we have to get two key, or five keys we have to get. So we got a lot of work to do. The power of night. Hmm. And what's in here? Who needs sleep? Just the rest. <laughs> I'm guessing like you come back there and actually interact with it. So let's get back out there. See what we could do. Destroy some more dudes. Find some more treasure. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this game. This is a little training dummy. This is all this stuff we could get. Because I want to keep the sword because I like the sword. What's up here again? Yeah, that at least looks over the underworld. Okay, so no. Find a or whenever to get me out of here. Let's go back out. There we go. Escape. I'm ready. It's like a kid just trying to sneak out of his house. Like, you know, just messing around with his parents. His parents don't want him to leave, but he's going to do it anyway. Yeah, there we go. We all did that at some point. That looks like a Daedalus hammer. Ooh, a hammer. Nice. Your special hits twice, but no longer knocks away foes. Your special makes you lunge ahead, then becomes sturdy for one second. Your attack restores two uh, health per hit, but you have minus 60% health, Regina. Mm. I like the Dash Nova. The Dash Nova sounds pretty good, so... So there we go. I dash forward in doing that. Let's do that, and uh, let's go smack up some peeps. Got him, nice. How careless of me. Let's keep going. The quicker that we destroy them, the better. Damn you. Like just dashing around and stuff. I mean, this feels so good to control, man. Where, where's the rest of the enemies? I like the sword stuff more than I do the ranged attacks. That's just me as a player. Because I like the hacking and slashing, because it reminds me of like Diablo or Marvel Ultimate Alliance. And it just feels good, man. I like this. Got him. Nice. So let's get that essence. We got plus 10. Okay, so there we go. The faster we take out everybody, the better. That's much, much smarter. Much better overall. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Just destroyed him. Where's the other one at? Just take him down real quick. There goes another one. So he's dashing a lot, like, quickly around. So we could just defeat him fast. We got that, so... Ooh, I'm guessing this is Aphrodite. Okay. This is a heart. Yeah, it's Aphrodite. Yeah, of course. 
to say you're quite Major of the moment. You interested? So He's like, yes, of course I'm interested. So your attack deals more damage and inflicts weak. Yes, of course I'm going to take that. The other ones are special damage deals more damage and inflicts weak. No, I want my standard attack to be more powerful because it's plus 50%. So, and it gives it status elements. Yes. <laughs> As Aphrodite coming through with the perks. Get, get, there we go. Look at that. So much more damage. Gain another 10. Sweet. All mine. all mine. You're damn right it's all mine. Let's keep going. We're doing good so far. And I, I'm telling you, I'm really liking the, the 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 way that this game controls. It just feels good, man. Look at that now. We got to be careful because once it has that yellow bar, they're just going to power right through our attacks. We gotta break them like fast. Big enemy there. So I'm trying to dash before he can attack and then just go and try to get rid of his damn stuff. Uh, Palm of Power. So it's a power up. So you get a Heartbreak Strike, it deals more damage. Okay, and inflicts weak. So yeah, we get even more. Plus 70%. Nice. Hell yes. Press that for boon info. Let's do that. Let's see what the boon does here. Oops, there we go. Your special makes you lunge ahead. There's the heartbreak strike. Okay, so yeah, plus 70%. Nice. So let's go with the key. Because we need those keys, as you saw. We need more. Many more keys. Pests. Look at that. Look at that damage, son. Oh, that damage is so good. Look at that. And we're flicking break status. Yes. Okay, that he did a little bit of damage to us, but no biggie. We destroyed him. We got a key. Now, where's the next? Ooh, tridents. Hmm. We got a red and a blue one. So I'm guessing red is attack and blue is defense. So let's go with the red. Because we like we like that attack out here. We like destroying people. So go with more enemies. Look at that damage, son. Mm. Look at that. Just destroying mofos. Just because. Wait, wait, they coming in? They coming in? Too bad. They're gone. Yeah, look at that. That's what you get. That's what you, damn right, that's what you get. Like, look at that. Oh, God. Whoa, we got a big... And we broke him, son. And we broke him again. And we did it again. Small enemy, small fry. Lord Ares. Okay, so God, the, God of War, basically. He's going to give us a damage boost. For I'm keeping count. <laughs> He's like, yeah. So what do we get here? Your attack special and cast deal more damage. So we get plus 10% bonus damage. Plus 100 do uh, doom damage. After you take damage, inflict doom on foes around you. That's interesting. And your cast sends blade rift hurtling ahead. So no, I like the 10% bonus damage because that boosts everything. It's not just my attack. It does my cast, my attack, and my special. So I'll take that, yes. So hold on. Anything on this side? No, nothing. Wait, what's this? Nothing. Oh, shop. Oh, we can shop? Okay, so here's the shop that I was talking about earlier. So we have... How much have we got? 64. So we got Life Essence, uh, instantly restored up to 12 health. Uh, gain... Oh, okay, so gain uh, 13 of that rock stuff, which we could use to power up our, our area. So let's do that. 33, and that's going to be 68, but we only got 64, so we might have to get these two. So it's Gaius Treasure, and then Stinging Guard. Traps deal 500% more damage to your foes, and it only has six encounters, so no. Let's just get the this stuff, and then let's get the life essence. Yeah, the life essence is good. Okay, so we're good with that. So we shopped a little bit. Let's go find out what else is out here. Doing good on time, too. So, like I said, if you're liking this game, you're liking the gameplay, let me know in the comments. Let me know what's up in the comments. Huh? Mm, massive damage. Okay, that's cute. Nice. Nice, we've destroyed everybody. Okay, so we gain nectar. So I don't know what the nectar does. I'm guessing it's something important or something super helpful. I have to look that up. Again, there's so many things in here that I've seen thus far. I don't know what all of them do. Ooh, bosses cat fights. Oh, whoa.
Whoa, whoa. Okay, we took massive damage there. Okay, now now we stunned him. Trying to take out at least one of them and then focus on the other one. There we go. Okay, so we got to get rid of that armor, so... There we go. We got him. Nice. So now we just beat him down. Now we just beat him down. And a backstab, so we do more damage with a backstab. So we got a gift. We got another one. Okay, so we got Epic, which is Heartbreak Flourish. Your specialty is more damage and inflicts weak, so 151% damage. Uh, your cast is wide with a short uh, with a short range blast that inflicts weak. Uh, resist some damage from foes, plus 13 damage resistance from foes. So you know what? No, let's get the Epic. The Epic one, which is good. Beautiful. We like that perk. There's no other place there. Let's go for the key. So we'll go a little bit longer. Just a tiny bit longer. See if we can make it go even further. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so we got traps out here. There it goes the enemies. Nice, right, so we got him. Okay, so where's the other ones? Here they come. Backstab, so more massive damage. Okay, so yeah, that's what the traps activate. So here comes more fools. Okay, big enemy. Okay, so I could inflict the, the traps right there. Okay, ooh, look at that. Yes, of course I'll do that. That is interesting. I didn't know you could do that. That's that's the first time I ever discovered that those types of traps could hit enemies. So yeah, there we go. Nice. So I'm going to use this to unlock a weapon, a door. Okay, so yeah. Now, I think we're going to stop right here as a good way to kind of end off this JJ's first 20. I like Hades so far. Maybe at some point, maybe I'll do a whole review video about it. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that. And also, let me know what you guys think about the new webcam. I'm going to use this for streams from now on. Maybe the next like big purchase, hopefully between donations on stream and everybody else on the Patreon, maybe we could actually get a brand new PC set up or an actual like tower or something so we can make even bigger, better streams because little by little, little pieces of the stream and the content here on YouTube is getting better. But Hopefully you enjoyed this look at Hades. I will talk to all of you guys again very soon. Peace out and stay epic, everybody.